Um, the other thing we do sometimes is, like, do you have a joke or something? Like no, something... Surely you don't have a joke. Anything. Do you have a joke at the top of your head? Yeah. You can take your time, think of a joke. Something funny. Do you want me to tell you a dad joke? My daughter says they're dad jokes. Um, what has four wheels and flies? A plane? A garbage truck. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of HairTube. I'm here today with the beautiful Erica. Hello. Um, Erica's coming today because she's going to have a bit of a change. She's given me um, some boundaries. She just said she doesn't want it too short. And I suggested that we just go shorter and lighter. Uh, when lightening hair, obviously I need to factor in that you know, condition is very important. So I'm not going to go and lighten hair to the point and damage your hair because that's not an advantage to me or her. Um, not something I do as a hairdresser. However, we will be using a matrix product called Lightmaster with Bonder inside, and that's obviously going to protect the hair during the lightening process. Um, but it's also something you need to consider when lightening hair is uh, how it's going to work with the skin tone, um, and we don't want to do anything. Well, though, sometimes uh, we can do something that makes a fashion statement. You can see a video I did with um, a girl named Jin here some time ago, and we made a really, really white blonde, and I thought they looked good. Um, not something I'm prepared to do in the first sitting because obviously all hair is different. So today is going to give us a really good idea about how Erica's hair lightens. So we're going to get it lighter. So I want it to be lighter all over. And then we're going to do something that works in terms of length um, that complements her, some shape around the front, and just try and make her um, sort of feel a little bit like reinvented and uplifted with her hair. So it sounds fun? Yeah, it sounds good. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to head out the back. We're going to grab some colour or some lightener rather, and we're going to be back and we're going to start with doing some foils in Erica's hair. See you in a minute. Lightmaster pre-bonded, uh, no need to use a, uh, an additive in the colour. All Matrix colours are now pre-bonded, which is amazing, and just using 30 volume. Some people like to use uh, 20 volume in lightning, but because I'm using the Matrix Lightmaster, which is pre-bonded, I'm confident to use 30 volume. It means I can go for a little bit lighter result and not have to worry about stressing the hair out. your bags for leaving today what is taking you so long don't look back we're on our way turn up our favorite song we're going wherever the wind blows and i'm driving right along the way forget the past we'll be okay let's To find a place for us both to belong To stay on track, just needed faith For us both to be strong And all the stress will be erased At the end of the day Take my hand, we'll be okay Back, 
Okay, so uh, Erica's foils are in. Um, we're going to let these process, and when we come back, we're going to be talking about what colour we're going to put back. So, see you in a bit. Okay, we need to put some colour back, so we're going to use uh, Matrix Colour Sync. Now, obviously, the texture of Erica's hair has a lot of warmth in it, so I want, don't want to make that um, any warmer. So on the root, I'm going for around the level six, and then, as I said, on level seven, and then on those um, ends, I want them to pop a little bit. So I'm going to go for like two levels of contrast. So I've decided that we're going to use 6N with some 6M and just a dash of 8V. Um, we're gonna do that on the root area. Then I'm gonna take that through to the ends at the basin, just for um, some color fill. And then I'm gonna do something completely different on the front. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm just gonna see how these um, roots come up. So it should be fun. Back from the basin and uh, colour's done. So I'm gonna dry it off and then we'll talk about the haircut. Time to do the haircut. Colour looks great. So I'll give you guys a bit of a recap. I'm just gonna spin Erica around so you can see the colour, how shiny it is. Made it lighter. Beautiful. Okay, so what we're gonna do with the haircut is um, I'm actually liking the length, so I'm actually not going to cut it very much shorter. I'm probably just going to square it off here. We're going to shape it around your front, show off these little light pieces that we've done, and then, um, yeah, it should be fun. So I'm going to start with the back, and then you guys have seen me do that heaps of times before, but then once I get to the front, um, I'll tell you a little bit about, about what I'm doing because it's going to be a little bit different today um, to what I'd normally do. So let's section up and start with the back. Absolutely beautiful colour. I'm super happy with it. You guys are interested in buying a great pair of scissors. The ones that I'm using are the EPH in six inch. You can grab them on my website. Um, they're super sharp and you can see that Eric has quite a lot of hair, but it allows me to cut through it super accurately. With absolutely no fuss. I'm gonna cut that off. Our ends are done. It's taking a little bit from the back as our guide. I'm gonna echo to the side for me, thank you. Just rest it very gently on your shoulder just to pull those corners off. Is that side done? Again, just taking a little bit from the back as our guide. Geez, that color's pretty. And just nicking off that corner in the front. down from Erica. We're going to actually just take one section here from the back. Like that. But instead of cutting it this way, like I normally would, I'm actually going to do it this way. So you'll see why when we dry it, just head up a little bit gorgeous. And what I want to really do is cut it quite a fair way back, but leave it really long in the front. We're going all the way back to the crown, to the middle of the eye as our width. And then we're bringing this right along. You can see there, let's cut that off. Hopefully I'm not projecting it out of screen. And then what we're gonna do in the front is just go from the crown to behind the ear and then all the way in front and then use that as our guide to 
bring that up to the top. And then the other side. Using that as a guide to bring that to the front. It's a really beautiful technique, but very effective. So the whole idea is to keep the short hair on the top and only have very, very gentle shaping in and around the face. It's not a lot. This is meant to be very seamless and gentle. I'm gonna pop our head up, pull that back, and then wear that forward. You're just gonna get those little pieces there in the front near the cheeks, longer here. And we're gonna move on and do some shape in the back. So what we're gonna do is actually do it in one section. So we bring the hair all together like this. And then what we wanna do is, let's move Erica along so you can see, is we're just going to grab this little front section as our guide. There it is there, there it is here. That's from the front. Now we can get rid of that, we don't need it. Make sure you don't recut that because that's gonna end up really bad if you do that. Now we've got our guide, we just go back and make sure there it is there, it's just falling out there, you can see it. And then we just wanna give that the ability to be able to separate a little bit. And it's seamless, it all works well. Let me put Eric up a bit so you can see. Absolutely beautiful. Now, we comb all this into the back. I like to use a brush for this because sometimes, not only is it difficult to get with a comb, it actually doesn't feel very nice on someone's head, so I get it to this point. And then I'm just going to tilt this camera back up so you can see. And then I'm spin Erica around. And then we're gonna make sure that the sides and the front all tie into that shape. And then it's time to style the hair. There it is there. There's the front, we use as a guide. That's the sides that's in there, there's the back. Take that off. Just cross check, make sure that you haven't missed any. Best shape ever. All right, gonna grab myself a styling iron, I'll be back to do some styling. You haven't touched it yet, get your hands in it. <laughs> like run your, run your hands through it, don't be shy. Like, feel it. Yeah, it's great. It feels so nice. I think it's really good. It's so soft as well. I love the colour. Oh, it's just perfect. So I just, um, in the placement there, I just put a, a few little um, heavier ones just in and around the hairline just to make that shape pop. So yeah, like just to recap, we just did uh, weaves, full head of weaves, about a centimetre apart. Um, then I went back and uh, stretched the root um, using uh, 6N, 6M, 8V, matrix colour sync. Toned the ends with uh, 8V, a little bit of 8M, and the result is a better version of Erica when she came in. <laughs> She's pretty good to start with. I mean, what a canvas. I had a really good canvas to start with, so I was lucky. Um, thank you. Thanks for spending the day with me. It was fun. No, thank you. I Thanks again for tuning in guys, if you haven't already, if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, otherwise the algorithm's gonna mess with your feed and you might wanna make sure you see the rest of our videos, especially if they look as good as Erica, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun today, so until next time from Canberra, Australia, it's bye. <laughs>